guys welcome back to my youtube channel and let's talk about uh, management of coronavirus patients and a proposition why the workplace patients on prone position in uh, managing when managing a coronavirus patient you know patients with coronavirus they often die of um, acute respiratory distress syndrome which is um ARDS and um, this this syndrome kills patients also who have influenza and pneumonia and um, other diseases. So, science seven years ago, um, history added that um, one of the scientists actually um, sh they, he was able to um, discover that patients with ARDS who were on ventilators had a lower chance of dying if they were placed on their stomach that if they are placed on a prone position so ever since then it there has been varying degrees of doctors that have been trying to ensure the patients are placed on prone position and what happens when a patient is placed on prone position? When a patient is placed on prone position, it gives the lung a higher percentage and it helps the lung to expand much better, thereby helping more oxygen to go into the lungs. It was discovered that when um, a patient was placed on supine, the saturation was about 85%, but when the patient was placed on a prone position, the saturation went up as high as 95%. So this is a very good one and it was, it was discovered that the lung expands much better when a patient is placed on prone position because the weight of the body is not going to be resting on the lungs. So this helps the lung to expand more and better in the thoracic cavity. Now, for a patient to be placed on a prone position, when after proning a patient and um, it requires a proning team, there is to be there is a team that is called a proning team, which will include the doctor, the nurses, the anesthetist, if possible, if present, and it's going to it's a team of group of people that needs to prone a patient. When you prone a patient, most times patients are ventilated because they are very sick and you have to ventilate them so someone has to guard the airway as much as possible the, the endotracheal tube has to be guarded so that it won't be misplaced or it won't dislodge that is why you need the presence of an anesthetist or a doctor the nurses also are very important everyone is important in proning the patient now a prone patient stays on that position for about 16 hours before you have to before on proning the patient and when a patient is on a prone position you see have to change the um, head because the patient has to, you have to put a part on the head the cheeks because of the pressure and to also you have to also have to try to release the pressure so the major thing the major advantage of proning a patient is that it helps the lung to expand small and it helps the it it increases the oxygen going into the lungs thereby helping the lungs to expand condition a sedated patient stays longer on a probe position than a non-sedated patient a non-sedated patient you can try and encourage the patient to stay at least four hours on a prone position because it might not really be comfortable for the patient but when a patient is sedated the patient can stay as long as 16 hours on the position okay i hope you've been able to pick some tips and the reason why the patients in the why we prone coronavirus patients because i'm sure you'd have been seeing a lot of um, pictures or videos of um, coronavirus patients lying on their stomach or in a prone position this is the major reason For watching my video i hope you were able to learn one thing or the other see you in my next video and it is your nurse Ruth. catch you guys on later on and don't forget to keep staying safe ensure you stay safe as much as possible ensure you use the appropriate ppe use the adequate ppe and let's all stay safe together